So hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to work on this lens, it is a Tokina 28mm 2.8 and then in this case it has some fungus that we want to remove. Just let me show you that fungus that we want to take away. But then if you have this lens and then you want to clean it, let's say from dust, haze or fungus, you can take a look at this video is going to work for you. So we're going to open the lens. There is two ways to access the fungus. You can do it from here from the front or from the back. I will explain both ways. So first thing is to remove this beauty ring that you have here. In most lenses this thing just simply unscrews but then in this case it's just a thing that is glued. So you need to take it away, you need to force and then it's something very thin like I'm doing here and then you will release it. I, I did it already but then when I was trying I wasn't able to simply by forcing. So what I did is I put some isopropyl alcohol, I put it here on the groove, I put a lot, let it sit for two or three minutes and then I came and then I force it and then it came out. So and then the nice thing about working with isopropyl alcohol is that it evaporates so you don't leave any traces. So this is it with the beauty ring away we can proceed to removing these three screws. You can see the traces of glue. Okay and then those three screws just simply let you remove this and then here for example if you want to remove the focusing ring you need to work on these three rings that are there and then you obviously obviously need to unscrew this in a way but then we're interested in the fungus so we want to keep going so there is still three more screws to go and then with the three screws gone we can take away this element so like that and then we have removed the front element which is just a complete block molded in plastic so I don't think there is many chances of doing any repair if anything is inside here maybe this front element I can see it is metal and then you need to unclip it so in the front you can do some work ah, here on the back as well there is also a lens which is just clip it so you simply need to turn this part and then unclip and then you can do some work so this is nice I was thinking that this lens was going to be one of those lenses that are simple, simply almost impossible to repair. And then here, okay, this is the thing we are interested in. So we have reached the fungus, so we can proceed to the cleaning. And then in the case you have, for example, an oily diaphragm, I think you can access here these three screws and then take the diaphragm and remove the parts still is going to be to be needing some work because you will need to come from the back as well to remove the other side of the diaphragm but then you are like at 80 percent with the diaphragm if you take this way so and then the second option to reach the fungus here is from the back and then here is very simple I would say you need to unscrew this element here and then there is two pieces of glass there is one piece of glass that you have here with some separation ring is moving there
and then a second, second piece of glass that you can remove. So I improvise this lens sucker using a blower and then those cheap suckers you get from China and then this one works really really fine so and then you can pull the lens you can do some cleaning we will have some work to do because I see that here in the corner there is something like a beginning of fungus so we'll be cleaning it and then if you want to go even further you will need to put this guy aside and then pull the second element that has the fungus I'm not going to do that, we're going to try cleaning it from the other side but then this is the way it goes so let me put this here for the time being I'll take care of it just after but then we're going to do the first lens which is the fungus on the other side so let me get my clean stuff and then we meet in a few seconds so here I am ready for the cleaning we have a very very limited space so let's try this otherwise we'll have to take the lens from the back but then let's take our chances so I took my cleaning stuff so this is my usual uh, fungus removal recipe that you have the video here and then we will use the standard lens cleaning fluid that I used just after we're going to proceed instead of microfiber cloth we will use these small squares of optical cleaning paper I think we have no choice there is the only way if we can do it if we want to do it like this and then obviously what I'm still missing is a pair of tweezers to manipulate the paper and then we're going to push the paper around using cotton swab so here we go first of all let's try oh, let's clean in solution on well, the fungus removal solution so Oop, I already put too much few seconds and then I'm going to absorb the excess on the other side of the cotton swab and then the fungus is gone so this is really very good news I don't see damage of the coating made by the fungus so this is also a good thing so now we're going to proceed to cleaning to do an actual cleaning of the glass and then to do that we use the lens cleaning fluid so this one I showed to you in this bottle here and then I apply the solution Swab. Well, first of all, I need to put a piece of paper and then on the cotton swab. I just push around.
Okay, we are near done. So I think you got the idea. I still need to do some dry. I think there was too much humidity in the cotton swab. So what I'm going to do is to finish this off the camera, but then I think you got the idea. The procedure is very simple. You remove the fungus using a solution to kill fungus. Then you use a clean fluid for lenses. And then with a cotton swab or something soft. So you make sure you don't scratch the glass. You will come with optical clean paper and then you will push it around until you get it clean. So I'm going to finish this and then we meet again in a few seconds. Here I am, I am done with the cleaning and then uh, finally the cotton swab was not a very good idea because it was leaving some traces. So at the end what I did was to use the lens cleaning fluid and then with a small sheet of cleaning paper and then the tweezers I came and then I moved it around until I got everything really 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 clean. And then obviously I was using magnifying glass just to make sure I was leaving no traces and then here I got the best result ever and that's it with tweezers and then optical cleaning paper. So and then to reassemble the lens this is going to be extremely simple. We take this element, we put it in, then we screw. So with those three screws there so we can put this ring here and then with those three screws there we simply need to put again the beauty ring you can glue it again with the glue of your choice so just make sure it's glue that you can simply dissolve for example using isopropyl alcohol so this is all i wanted to show you today thanks for watching and see you next time huh?